Hello YouTube, my name is Tamara and welcome to my channel. Today I'll show you how to make this easy delicious recipe with carrots, peas, ground beef, tomato sauce over some white rice. First, please subscribe to my channel, hit the like button so I can reach more viewers out there who would like to see these recipes. Here's how to get notified on YouTube and never miss a video again. Hit the bell button right next to the subscribe and it'll show you these choices, all personalized or none. If you choose all, it'll notify you of every video that I post right away. Now let's get started. I'm making some rice to start off with. I'm using jasmine rice. I like to add two tablespoons of butter. I'm adding two cups of rice. Now all rice is different. Um, they have different amounts of water you have to add to it to cook it. So this is one of the jasmine rice. If you read the directions on the back of it, it'll say one and a fourth cup of water to one cup of rice. So I have two cups of rice. I'm gonna add two and a half cups of water. It took me a long time to figure this out. I was wondering why I didn't know how to cook the rice, why it wouldn't come out right until I started noticing the directions on different types of rices. I'm adding a little bit of salt to my rice. It's optional. Now I'm gonna add in the water and I'll let that come to a boil. If you're cooking regular long grain rice, then you would use two cups of water to one cup of rice. Okay, now that it started boiling, I'm gonna put a top on. And I'll put that on simmer on very low and put a timer on for 15 minutes. Okay, now any oil you prefer, I'm just using res uh, regular corn oil. And I'm gonna add in the onions and let those simmer for about 10 minutes on medium low until they're nice and translucent. Okay, onions are looking perfect for me, just how I like it. And now I'm adding two cloves of minced garlic. You can look in a description box below and you'll find the ingredients in this recipe. Give that a quick mix and let that cook for another minute. Now add in one pound of ground beef. Then mix that up with the onions and the garlic. Check in on my rice. I'm gonna let that cook five minutes longer. It can take from 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, so now I'm gonna add in my spices. Very simple. You just need half a teaspoon of allspice. I'm gonna start off with half a teaspoon of salt. I'll see if it needs more later. And I'll start off with half a teaspoon of black pepper. I'll add more later if it needs it. Now give that a mix and let it brown on medium high heat. Okay, so now when the meat's nice and brown, I'm gonna add a one pound of frozen peas and carrots to it. Now 
Now I'm making the sauce. I'm going to add in three cups of water. You can probably use beef broth. I haven't tried that. I'm sure it'll come out good. I mean, I added in one and a half cups, then another half a cup, and then another one cup. I was trying to eye it to see how much sauce I should make, but three cups came out perfect. And then let that come to a boil. Now that it's boiling, I'll add in a six ounce can of tomato paste and mix that really well. I'm making sure all the tomato paste is blended in real well. Once it's all mixed well, put the top on and simmer it on low for 10 minutes, stirring occasionally. I tasted it to see if it needs more salt and pepper. And I'm gonna add in half a teaspoon of black pepper. And half a teaspoon of salt. So total we put in this dish today was one teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of black pepper. I just added half the beginning of each and I'm adding half now and it came out perfect. Taste, do it to your taste though. The sauce is simmered for 10 minutes, it's thickened, and it's ready to be served. It looks perfect. Now serve it on some rice and that's it. It's a very easy and delicious recipe. My family loves this recipe. It's perfect for kids and filling and healthy. I hope you enjoy.